Thank you for joining me as I sit down with Pastor David and Marie Rosales from Calvary Chapel, Chino Valley, as we discuss marriage, raising children, and managing difficulties that arise in the family. We're ready to begin, so let's talk marriage. How are kids impacted when a grandparent, a babysitter, or a government agency are tasked with raising them? Everybody would uh, would agree when, when I say, no, the best uh, one to care for the children would have to be the mom. It'd have to be the dad. And uh, that's God's design. He, he, he designed a husband and a wife to bear children and the father to hold a certain authoritative position and the wife to be a support and to have authority also in the home and the two working together were intended to raise the children the father being expected to act almost like the priest of the home and and you see that in in proverbs you know in chapter two chapter one various chapters where it speaks to the son and says listen to the wisdom of your father the commands of your mother and those are the things that god intended uh, that's how the society was supposed to actually find its order and so there's a better a better chance that society is going to once again have its order when the family is uh, remaining without a, a division without a, a breakup without a divorce and when the father keeps his is um god given authority to raise up the child in the and the nurturement and the knowledge of the Lord, which really fell on the father's shoulders and, and not the mother's. Again, that's why Paul would say in uh, 1 Corinthians, that's what Paul would say if, if the wife had a question, let her, let her remain silent in church and ask her husband at home. It wasn't because of chauvinism. It was because the husband was intended by God to be the spiritual leader in the home and he was basically putting that responsibility back on the shoulders of the husband by telling the wife, speak to him at home. That way, that husband will fulfill his duties. And if he doesn't have the answer, then he can learn the answer so he can be a better priest. And so, so many things are looked at as negatives, negatives when in fact, they're actually exhortations for men to take their proper place and, and all of that. So getting back to the question, um nannies and grandparents and other caretakers and all thank god for those who can have good influence in the lives of our children thank god for the good influences but the the greatest influence will always be the parents the parent and that's where another attack comes in at because then the role of the husband or the role of the mostly the husband can seem to be diminished in a marriage or in a relationship even in a society where the role of the husband or the man has been dumbed down. And and you see that attack that's a little subtle. You see it in commercials. You see it in a lot of things, which is actually an attack on the marriage. And it's happening so subtly that men have almost lost their spine in certain areas. Well, men have. Mm -hmm. Men have. I mean, I, 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 I like humor, as you know. I, I like humor as much as the next person and maybe a little bit more than the average. I, I like the laugh. I like... I, I, I think that uh, laughing with one another is a very good thing. It's like medicine, right? And so, but no, there's, there's no doubt in my mind. I mean, it, just what you just said is one of my, one of my, my beefs that I have. And Marie can tell you this because I'll be sitting there and here's some, some stupid husband who doesn't even know to come out of the rain. And there's the mother, mama, wife. Oh, you're so stupid. You don't know how to even um, buy a car. Let me show you how to buy a car. Let me show you how to use this computer. Oh, you're so dumb. And 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 everybody thinks that's funny. I, I don't. I believe that, uh, you know, humor's humor. I, but when's the last time you ever saw a commercial where the man makes the woman look stupid? You know, what, what TV program have you seen lately that the woman looks stupid and the man looks like he's the leader? Which one? There, there aren't any, you know, and I, I remember asking the church, I said, can you give me one TV program where the husband is actually the leader in the home, where they really respect him, anything recent? Mm -hmm. And then I said, because there aren't any, and I, to my knowledge, and there may be something somebody can point out, and it's probably going to be from the 50s right. or something, you know, Father Knows right Best yeah. or <laughs> something like that, because that was acceptable then. It, 
It made the husband look like he actually had some wisdom, some authority, mm -hmm. some concern. He worked a job, he came home. The wife was a, uh, a maker of a home. She actually cared for the children. There's, there, there's just too many commercials that think it's, it's okay to make a man look stupid or weak, um, indecisive. You know, you'll see him walking in as now he's the, the house husband raising the child while the wife's out there as the breadwinner. And, and there's an attempt to make that look like that's the normal way of every family, which is not. It's an exception. And there are some men who want to run around pretending they're nursing their children, you know. But I don't know if that's a man so much as a confused person who's a male, you know. And so that's, and that may get somebody mad right now. And if so... <laughs> Who probably didn't have a father figure, right? Well, if they're yeah. mad, write John Mata <laughs> at Calvary Chapel. I've already been told I would accept the the punishment for going to jail, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Thanks again for tuning in. Let's Talk Marriage is a ministry of Calvary Chapel, Chino Valley. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and share it. We will see you again next week on another episode of Let's Talk Marriage.